Hey everyone, Kita Sean here, so welcome back to another Fate's Grand Order video. So happy 6th anniversary to Fate's Grand Order. Rokushune! <laughs> so as everyone probably already knows we got a bunch of free stuff during the anniversary uh, if you log in every day you should be getting a bunch of stuff like exp qp foes etc etc a grail and mana prisms and such so make sure to do all that and you guys can definitely check out my other videos because i do talk about that in today's video we're going to be talking about the guaranteed gotcha because well there are some pretty good guaranteed gotchas here so let's go ahead and check those out so um, I know I'm a couple days late on this as well because uh, well I actually just released a bunch of videos these last couple of days so I thought it would just be a huge cluster if I released more videos in the past two days so I decided to make this on um, on, a, on a day where I can release this video by itself so Let's go ahead and talk about the guaranteed gotcha because there might be some of you guys that haven't rolled yet. I'm pretty sure most of you guys have already rolled this gotcha, but maybe for the NA version, Korean version, and you know Chinese Taiwan version, you guys can use this as a little uh, example. Hey, I'm gonna roll that gotcha kind of thing in the future. So uh, I guess this is more towards the other versions than the JP version because again, I think a lot of players in the JP version have already rolled. But if you haven't. You can use this as well. So let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit. So uh, like always, it's going to be 15 paid quarts in order to roll the guaranteed gotcha. And they're going to be separating the uh, gotcha by year and uh, classes. So scrolling down a little bit, um, as you can see here, uh, the 2015 through 2016 gotcha will have the uh, sabers, archers, and lancers in one gotcha. And as you can see, these are the limited servants in that gotcha. Gilgamesh, Shiki, Saber, a Narrow Bride, Okta Soji, uh, Kasaha Lancer, and Brynhilde. I was kind of debating on rolling this one just to try and get Shiki Saber because I do not have her. But everyone else, I was like, you know what, I'm okay. Plus, I didn't want to pay for Gilgamesh once again because... Uh, as you guys probably know, I have trauma with Gilgamesh. Uh, gotcha rolling. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit. Um, then we have the uh, other side, the 2015-2016 um, Riders, Berserkers, Assassin, Rulers, and Avengers. So basically, um, all that and extra. So this one is actually not bad of a role in my opinion, but at the same time, it's you know, kind of out of out of date as you can probably tell so i would probably in my opinion would skip these two because i, I think a lot of people already have these servants but again if you want to try uh, your luck on one of these then go ahead uh personally for me i don't have amaksa so he was actually the only servant that uh, i wanted from this specific gotcha but at the same time i didn't really care now scrolling down a little bit more so we have the 2016 to 2017 uh, guaranteed gotcha and this is of course saber archers and lancers so yeah not too bad of a rule here but at the same time kind of out of date so I'd probably not touch this one uh, then scrolling down a little bit more uh, then we have Melta Lilith King Hassan uh, we have Cleopatra Merlin Prisma Ilya we have uh, Etchan we have Da Vinci uh, Kiara, um, yeah, we have all these servants here, Hijikata, so, uh, personally, uh, I, I know Merlin seems like a very, uh, eye-catching servant to roll for, but here is the problem, there are two other casters in this gotcha, so you can definitely get spooked, uh, you know, Ilya and Da Vinci, and they're not, you know, as great anymore, or, kind of never were but uh i think the only three servants that are actually or i guess you can say four servants are actually uh, useful from this gotcha in my opinion are merlin uh etchang melta lilith and kiara so but the other five it's like ah, probably not going to use them as much anymore so yeah this in my opinion this is the gotcha to skip because uh there's just way too many servants here to try and get merlin uh, scrolling down a little bit more, 2017 to 2018. Uh, this is actually not too bad of a gotcha. So Sherlock Holmes, Oxus Soji Alter, Hoxai, Arishka Gel, uh, Abigail, and Sigurd. Um, 
I guess if you're trying to get foreigner, this is not too bad to roll, but at the same time, it's like, eh, I don't know, because there's just so many other servants that, like, uh, that you don't really care too much for, I guess you can say, but, I mean, hey, if you really need one of these servants, I, I, mean, I don't think it's that bad of a roll. Uh, scrolling down a little bit more, so we have the 2017 to 2018 gotcha. Uh, this is actually not too bad. Um, the only problem is uh, there are two casters, so you can probably get spooked by you know either one of them like depending on if you want narrow you can get spooked by scotty if you want uh scotty you can get spooked by narrow kind of thing um same thing with the riders uh one assassin so if you get an assa a gold assassin hey you're guaranteed semiramas basically <laughs> so uh yeah there's like a there's 50 50 in this gotcha so uh uh, I don't think there's a huge huge problem here, but at the same time, it's like, you know, the 50-50s. Uh, then we have the 2018-2019. I believe this is a pretty hard skip. Uh, I don't think any of these servants are, you know, servants that you need to roll. Uh, maybe Janu, uh, Archer, probably, but uh, yeah, I don't think any of these servants are a must, in my opinion, unless you are huge fans of, like, BB or Benny Emma or Nobu kind of thing. But I would probably... This is, yeah, this is probably the gotcha I would definitely skip, in my opinion, at least. Uh, scrolling down a little bit more, so the 2018-2019 gotcha for uh, writers, casters, assassin, and berserkers. This is a really good gotcha. Uh, as you can see, there are uh, four servants only, and uh, the chances of getting Kama, Arjuna, and Rhinus are pretty good, so... If you're trying to aim for Kama, if you're trying to aim for Arjuna, yeah, I would highly recommend rolling for this. If you get Murasaki Shikibu, I mean, she's not bad of a servant herself, but yeah, I, I think this is actually a really good guaranteed gacha to roll. So I highly recommend this one, if anything, if you don't have Kama or Arjuna Altar or uh, Rhinus. Uh, if anything, Rhinus, uh, I'd probably just wait because uh, we are expecting a rerun to the... Uh, case files collab but at the same time um for those who uh, play different versions remember that this gotcha does exist for arjuna altar and comma just remember that uh scrolling down a little bit more so this one is actually really good as well in my opinion if uh you want to get a, a super orion or a grand lancer so we have uh Asafo saber um romulus lancer uh, we also have, say, Shonagong and Orion. I guess the only um, bad thing about this gacha is the 50-50 between uh, Orion and, say, Shonagong. But I still think they're both great. Uh, so I think this is a really good gacha to take a chance on. Because, again, there's only four servants. And uh, yeah, it's a 50-50 on the archer side. Uh, other than that, uh, I think Romulus is actually a pretty fun servant to use. And Saber of Stalfo is actually a really fun servant to use as well. So uh, they're all strong in this gacha. So uh, this is also a gacha that I highly recommend trying out for. Uh, then we have the 2019-2020 Riders, Berserkers, Ruler, Avenger, and Foreigner. Um, ah... I would probably say this is actually a really good gacha as well. I think the only character that is the only servant that is probably a uh, boo boo is a um, Arturia ruler, if anything. I mean, as a waifu, S S S S S S tier, but uh, as a gameplay servant, uh, you definitely want to get the other five. Um, yeah, I think uh, this is actually a gotcha worth rolling for. Uh, there's only uh, one ruler, so if you get a ruler, hey, then you know uh, who you got. But um, there are two foreigners, and both of them are great. You got one rider. Um, she's great for looping as a rider, uh, plus AoE. And then you got the other two loopers as well. Yeah, there's actually really good loopers in this gotcha. So I would highly recommend rolling this if you need some loopers. So uh, yeah, you, you have four loopers. So this is actually a good gotcha if you want uh, farming loopers. Um, then we have the 2020 to 2021 gotcha, which has sabers, lancers, and, and basically has all the other servants. Um... I think this gotcha is worth it too. I mean, look at look at the lineup here. You have Lancelot, uh, Loli, uh, you got Faye Lancelot basically. You got uh, Abigail. I mean, I think Abigail and Ibuki are the two servants probably don't really want, but at the same time, Ibuki is really good. Abby, probably um, someone that you don't want unless you're you know an Abby simp. But Munamasa, Kiara, Swimsuit, Himiko, Van Gogh, and uh, Dolman are in here. 
all amazing servants and uh, I was actually aiming for Van Gogh because I don't have Van Gogh uh, but I ended up getting a second Himiko and um, I mean at the same time I actually ended up getting a servant that uh, a four star servant that um, I wanted MP2 which was uh, Faye uh, Tristan so I'm happy uh, so yeah this is a pretty good gotcha to roll as well probably the misses are Abby and Ibuki but Ibuki again I, th I still think she's great but the other servants uh, the chances of getting the other servants are really high so yeah I, I think this is a uh, pretty good gotcha to roll as well um, other than that we have the 2020 and the 2021 roll this is also really good especially if you want to try and get Morgan and Castoria and uh, Miss Crane um, Karen, uh, yeah, I, I think Karen is actually all right as well. Uh, Avenger Ushi, probably the miss, if anything, in this gotcha. But at the same time, if you are a Ushi simp and you want her, um, this is also a pretty good gotcha to roll. So, yeah, there's like four gotchas that I think I highly recommend rolling for, especially, again, the, 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 uh, the gotcha was only four servants. These two are just too godlike not to roll, so... But again, I already, I already had all of these servants, so I'm, I'm good on them. But I, I highly recommend rolling these, if anything. But uh, yeah, the, um, the honestly, I thought this guaranteed gotcha was pretty bad. But at the same time, uh, it's actually really good if you think about it. So yeah, uh, if you guys play the JP version and had and you already rolled, please do tell me which one you rolled. And, and if you guys are playing different versions. Which gotcha are you planning to roll for the 6th anniversary? Also, what's really cool about this is that you are you are guaranteed a 5-star servant. And you're also guaranteed a 4-star or up servant. So, you're always going to get that 4-star. And it's possible that 4-star servant can turn into a 5-star. And also, there is a chance to get multiple 5-stars. Remember that. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, once again, comment down below and tell me which gotcha you guys are rolling. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters. Bye.